Hello YouTube land. Welcome to the last edition, part 7, of Boomster 586's Operation Paint Shed. Today, we're going to put on the clear coat. As you can see here, I'm hoping you can see this. Yeah, it's looking good. You can see the trains are painted. Colors are on. Colors aren't quite as bright as I hoped. I probably should have used the, the white primer instead of gray. My mistake. I'll do better next time. And you can probably also see that there are some errors along the bottom here, on the pink especially. Uh, decided not to try and fix that. Just going to go ahead and clear coat them and move on to the next. Next time when they need painting, I'll do a better job. <laughs> I've learned from this. So I think we're ready to go with our lacquer. You can actually see that. So let's give it a spray here and see what happens. Since we're all gloved up and ready to go. That's important stuff. It smells like nail polish remover or something. Ooh, good thing I've got the windows open out here. Necessary when playing with spray paint or any paint. This stuff is whoo wee potent. So and move the trains back there. Hopefully you can see that. There we go. And let's get to it. Try to do this without touching it too much. Let's see what happens with that. Yep, you can see that. Of course, we don't need masking on this because we're spraying the whole thing. This is supposed to make them really nice and shiny and hard. That's kind of the grand plan here. Try and spray along the bottom a little bit better. If we get too heavy a coat, that's fine. We'll just let them sit here and dry. Not all worry about that. Probably not spray this. It's supposed to use this upside down, but what can you do? Oh, it looks like we've got a good coat of lacquer on them. So we'll cap that for right now. And we'll see what we come up with. Not much else I can do right now. Not gonna certainly not gonna touch the trains. So there you go, and hope you enjoyed this. And we will catch you next time. <laughs>